Nolajet here at Wad Slime Burrito. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are visiting Wines Flying Burrito for our New Orleans Mexican food review videos. We are visiting the Wines Flying Burrito location in the New Orleans Lower Garden District neighborhood at 2018 Magazine Street, which is about 8 minutes and 2 miles away from the French Quarter. This is the original Wines Flying Burrito location and they have now expanded to three additional locations in the New Orleans area with plans to expand further into Florida. From the opening, you might have noticed that we're going to be covering two separate visits here. One was right when the pandemic lockdown loosened up enough so that we could eat outside at Wines. And much more recently, when we're supposed to be free of lockdowns, but Wines still has some restrictions that they voluntarily still have in place. We're going to start out with my most recent visit, which was a little bit of a rainy day. Wines was long noted for their value-priced Mexican food and value-priced drinks along with great happy hours. Wines used to be the only Mexican food option in this area, but now there is a lot more competition and they have an extensive menu with enough items to please most people. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So it's back to almost normal in here and this is the most people I've seen in here since our lockdowns have loosened up substantially. They're still not allowing seating at the bar which that's usually where I like to sit as you get quicker service for your margaritas during margarita happy hour. I'm here on a Sunday which used to be happy hour all day but after the pandemic they're not doing happy hour all day anymore on Sunday which is regrettable because this used to be one of my best value options. So this is the back patio area here, which is a nice little spot to know about on nicer days. So you definitely want to check this out. This is uh, where they really have some fun times when it's not too hot or cold outside. And if you didn't know it was back here, you could easily miss it because it's a little bit of a uh, maze to find your way back here. So if you want to sit back here and mention it to your server, but now it's margarita time. House Margarita on the rocks. Cheers. Ah, yeah. All right, let's check out the menu now. So on the specials menu, we have barbecue mushroom Caesar salad, Emador's lunch, which is chips and queso, two street tacos, and then we have banh mi tacos, and then spicy green enchiladas. On the regular menu, I usually get the flying enchiladas, the tacos are the nachos, and there's better versions of fajitas than other places. So on the regular menu, we have a selection of chips, a selection of bowls, a selection of nachos, a selection of salads. Then we have a selection of tacos and street tacos, and then a selection of quesadillas, and then an eat your vegetable section for our vegetarian people. And then we have the burritos, with the flying burrito probably being the best choice. And our enchiladas with the flying enchiladas probably being the best choice. And then the fajitas with the flying fajitas probably being the best choice again. Then we have a selection of refreshments with non-alcoholic drinks, a kids menu, a dessert menu, and a breakfast menu. Then there's a selection of all the different kinds of meats, the different vegetables, and the a la carte items and the hot sauces and salsas that are available. You don't get free chips here, so you have to buy the chips and my dining companion wanted some. Companion got one of their huge burritos here, and I got the flying enchiladas, which is a shrimp enchilada, a beef enchilada, and chicken enchilada with rice and beans. And they have uh, three sauces you can get here: the red sauce, the green sauce, and then they also have a habanero sauce that uh, 
didn't get. But it's always good to squirt on some of the extra sauces on here because, hey, more flavor is better, right? I've always been a really big fan of oversaucing my Mexican food because I'm a saucy fellow. <laughs> certainly a really large serving of food and it is a lot to take down so you're usually not going to go away hungry from here as they definitely are not giving you small dainty portions here so there's certainly a lot of stuff on top of everything so you're getting multiple sauces you get multiple toppings with your flying enchiladas so i've got guacamole i've got sour cream i've got all these cheeses I've got the shrimp, I've got the beef, I've got the chicken, so I've really got a pretty interesting feast here. And then I've got a huge serving of rice and beans I have to eat too. So it's very common for people to leave here with a box of leftovers. <laughs> They do a really great job here also of keeping the cheese all ooey gooey for your entire meal. And these plates are really hot too. I burned myself a few times on these piping hot plates. So that's one caution I would give you is definitely be careful with these really hot plates. Okay, so now it's time to take down the rice and beans and I'm already really full, but I'm gonna put a little of the sauce on top, add a little extra flavor. I don't know if I can finish it all, but we will see. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's gonna be a challenge because all this rice is gonna make me more full. Ooh, can I take this all down? What do you think? Will I be able to finish this? This is gonna be a lot of food in one sitting after all those margaritas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm down to my last bite. So I was able to completely destroy the rice and beans and the enchiladas. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you thought about these flying enchiladas. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for two people before tip was $58.96. And we had some drinks, so that wasn't too terrible. Now my next visit, we're going to sit on the patio. And this is my previous visit back when... I could only sit outside and it's the older menu they had here. So this was more of the original format menu. So I got the Super Nachos Grande. These are huge. <laughs> so this is ground beef, Creole chicken with black and pinto beans, cheddar jack, sour cream, guacamole, salsa and jalapenos and then i added all the extra sauces on top that i did before this is way too much for one person usually even two people will have trouble taking all this food down so it really is a huge serving so there's no way i'm gonna finish this but uh it's good to have some leftovers these nachos are just packed to the top and all over with the largest amount of toppings of any nachos i've ever seen anywhere any place if you know about a place that does more stuff on their nachos than here, comment below and let me know about it because I would love to know about a place that has more stuff than this on their nachos. Now, this used to be what I would have told you is one of the best deals in the city of New Orleans. So on a Sunday for the all day happy hour, you came in, you got an order of these nachos and you got the all day happy hour pricing on the margaritas. Oh, what a great deal that is. You split this between two people, 
and you get the margaritas, you would have a really cheap meal and some cheap drinks. Now, I guess you can still arrive during regular happy hour and still get a pretty good deal if you order the nachos then too. That kind of takes the all-day fun aspect of Fun Day Sunday that we used to have here. So that's really going to be a sad loss not to be able to do that anymore. Hopefully they'll bring that special back at some point, so we'll see what happens. But certainly, if you're ever really hungry and you want a lot of food, this is definitely the dish you need to get because you are uh, almost always going to have leftovers unless your appetite is way larger than most people I know because there's just so much stuff on here. The only downside I would say with uh, these nachos is the chips will start getting a little soggy towards the end because there's just so much stuff on it. And now I'm done. I can't do any more. Even though I couldn't destroy it, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you thought about these nachos. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And the total is $14.33 before tip. So if you bring a friend and you split the cost of those nachos in half, you get a pretty cheap meal. And really, you can even have more than two people and even get a cheaper meal. So if you arrive during a happy hour, you also get cheap drinks. So a very filling meal and a good deal on lots of drinks. So that's a great way to have a good time for less money here. So this film footage was taken back when we were only allowed to eat outside and couldn't eat inside. And fortunately, we've progressed from that point to being able to eat inside again, but we still can't sit at the bar. And I look forward to progressing all the way to being able to be open and sit at the bar. But it is good to see more and more people in here and things getting back almost to normal. So thanks to Wands for the years of good deals. And thanks so much to all of you for tuning into the Nullagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just go ahead and share this video, whether you're friends or contacts, that really would help me. Make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.